Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to be doing a different type video today. I'm going to be going over my Sims story. I have a family that I've been playing with since The Sims 4 came out and I've completed a legacy challenge with this family. It, it has over 10 generations so the legacy challenge is completed and it was started based off of myself and a person who's not in my life anymore and I'm going to be showing you pictures of all of my family trees because um, the original me and the other person we had three kids and then the our family line split down in two ways from two of our kids and I also am going to be showing you all the sims video games that I have so right here I'm gonna put the sims games and I'll give you a second to look at them and I'm gonna give you a chance to look at our family trees right here As you can see, we have a lot of family. <laughs> I am obsessed with The Sims. It's one of my special interests. So I like keeping track of the whole family from start till the end. I haven't played The Sims in a while because it keeps lagging every time I go in. Probably because maybe it's the amount of households that I'm playing with. Because I think I have like five households or something like that or it could be from how big some of my ho houses are so I don't know maybe I'll start playing The Sims again soon but I'm also going to be reacting to the new Sims cottage living or yeah cottage living pack trailer and also the farming mod pack because I really feel like those two things together will be really good I'm probably gonna get both packs at some point so, I hope you guys are well. I love y'all. Hope to see you guys soon. I promise I'm working on my, um, my s special edit. It's just taking so long. <laughs> Alright, I love you guys. Bye. Hope you enjoyed the video and that you guys are staying safe and healthy. Alright, see you on the other side. Okay, so I realized just now that I ended up messing up my reaction video, so I'm going to be adding in my thoughts now. So right here, I was saying that I like the birds because you could be like Cinderella now and I was saying I like the rabbit because you could dress them up and you could interact with them. I don't believe we've ever had bunnies in The Sims before and I like how you could dress them up and the only thing I'm disappointed about is little Simsy mentioned that you can't have the bunnies as a part of your household you could only befriend them like the dolphins in island paradise and i am going to be linking down below plum bella's channel and little simsy's channel because i'm going to be talking about them a lot through this video and i am going to compare the similarities and differences between the official cottage living pack and the 
a farming mod pack because Sims Sims creators like the fans who make mod packs are so talented and maybe this is a controversial opinion but I honestly think some of my game uh, some of the Sims creators are more talented than the actual Sims team don't come at me guys I also really like the styles of the houses and the new clothing we have and the new terrain we have. It's going to be so cool. And you could also finally swim in ponds and we have like a f actual ponds now. And this lady is like one of the most famous sims. Like she's returning to the game from previous sims games so this is exciting. I also like how big these plots are because it seems like these are the biggest plots we've had in The Sims before so it's going to be very exciting to have more of, of a opportunity to create more terrain and a bigger houses and have farms and all of that. I love how we're going to be having more options as far as planting things, like we're getting pumpkins now and we have like an actual kind of plot area for plant, uh, for gardening, which is going to be very fun. And I love this whole cottage life, like farm life. That's my future. That's where I want to end up living when I'm older and when I settle down. So this is this is my dream f future. So until I get to live it, I'm going to live vicariously through The Sims. I also really like how we have llamas and a chicken coop and we have chickens and chicks and I just I love animals and I'm so excited to play with all these animals. I also really like the knitting and that children could interact with it because we don't have many activities for children or toddlers so this is exciting to see. I also like the fact that we have foxes too, that's also really exciting. <laughs> I also like how we have like an actual picnic type thing now too. And we also have official like picnic baskets and ways we could actually have picnics. And we have what seems to be a new restaurant. And we also have a farmer's market, which I'm very excited about. And we also have a crop competition where it's kind of funny, like you could see like adult humor, like this guy has a watermelon and that kind of like represents his stomach I feel like. And then this lady has a eggplant 
in a certain place that looks like something. And this guy has a carrot right where something would be and it's small so that's completely on the nose for adult humor. I don't think I'm going to be getting the bonus content because money is tight. My name is John, and this is Eden Hills. My wife Adele and I met in this town a very long time ago. And the farming mod pack, I love how much storytelling is involved because like Plum Bella, sa uh, yeah, Plum Bella says, I am so invested in stories. Like... It's great, I love it. I think this swing set with the slide is also a new item, so that's fun. We would play near the farms in the countryside, running around our favorite chickens, snogging the sheep as if they And as we can see, this game also has chickens, but they also have sheep, which seems to be a different type of animal than the official game pack. While growing up, we completely fell in love, and we promised each other that we Once young adults, we got married at the Love Temple. I really like this idea of the Love Temple, because it's like, is this like a new plot for wedding sites? Because that's so cute, and it this is so beautiful, so I really hope this is an actual plot we could go to. We got our farmhouse started. We also have windmills, which is new too, so that's also very exciting. To build a windmill. And we also have tractors, which seem to be new as well, because it doesn't look like the Sims Cottage Living Pack has tractors. So that's exciting. Took care of our first pigs, ducks, rabbits. They also have pigs in this pack. Ducks, too, because neither of those animals are in the main pack, I think. And they have rabbits in this pack as well, which is cool, because it'll be interesting to see the differences and similarities of the animals, like, because these rabbits look a lot more realistic than the rabbits in the official cottage life pack. It's everything was like And they also have a grocery store. We could actually go somewhere to buy groceries. This is so exciting because it's so realistic. Like we always imagined. It was the most beautiful, simple life one could ever dream of. But one day... They also have a uh, little farmer's market in this game pack as well, so that's exciting. This is so depressing with the fire, because it's like... this. But it's also cool at the same time because there's so much lore in this and it's like, oh, this is so sad, but so cool. I'm so, I'm so happy to have this experience, but it's like, this is so depressing. Terrible fire burnt it all. This thought we lost everything. She was destroyed and couldn't imagine this future anymore. I couldn't let that happen. So I got a loan at the bank in town.
can't believe they have loans and banks because it's like this is so realistic. I'm so excited. Came home with a horse. They have horses. I'm so excited. Horses were one of my favorite animals to play with in The Sims 3. So I'm so excited to have them back. That made her smile to the stars and beyond. She was always talking about horses when we were kids. And now that we had one, she started to dream again. Life went by. We got new animals, bought new crops, grateful of what the earth gave us. This plot looks even bigger than the one we have in the official Cottage Life pack, so I'm very excited about this. We reached the peak of our dream, just like we promised it. This is depressing. Like Plumbella said, is this like up? Ah. And I also am interested about this illness type thing because the way she fell on the hill is normally how Sims fall when they die. But it also seems like she's in the hospital being treated for some sort of illness. And I wonder if we could actually do that in the pack because I would love to explore that feature. Because even though it's so sad, it's also so realistic. Like I really like these new realistic elements that we're getting added in here. I thought our dream was over. But now that I saw these kids on the hills, I can't help but tell myself, what if, what if someone else can live this dream, then maybe it would last forever. I love how they have this guy living in town to give advice to new people who move to have their own farms because it's like there's so much more and it's so cute and so sad but so wholesome. Like, I have so many feelings about both of these packs. Like, I'm so, so excited because I love farming and I love animals. Like, I'm a vegetarian because of how much I love animals. It's like, uh, this is my dream Sims pack, honestly. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope y'all are well and staying safe and staying healthy. Love you guys so, so much. Thanks for all of your support, and I'm hoping to get my edit done by the end of the month. I'm hoping, fingers crossed. I'm just, <laughs> I'm using so many clips. It's taking forever, but I'm very happy to be working on it because you guys deserve a new special edit because I have over 200 subscribers now, and this, this edit was supposed to be for my 100 subscribers, which just goes to show how long I've been working on it. Uh, but anyways, I'll